chances are you probably missed out on the TravisScott.com drop and you're taking a lot of L's on the Nike and Sneakers app. Well, stay tuned and I'm hoping to give you some viable information that will help increase your chances and your odds of grabbing those latest sneakers. And this doesn't just apply to the Travis Scotts. This will apply to any hype sneaker. So make sure you stay tuned. What's going on everybody? I am JD and thank you for joining my channel this week. We are going to dive into some options that hopefully will guide you to grab the latest sneaker that you want. And it's not a foolproof, but it will at least increase your odds of grabbing those latest sneakers about tenfold. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this. So the reason why I want to make this video for you guys is because I want to show you that even without botting, it is possible to grab some of these latest sneakers. Although it's not a foolproof plan, it does help. And I'm going to guide you along some steps that I take to try to grab these. And roughly, I'm about 65% successful on grabbing them. No, that's not high. I wish it was more like in the 80s. But this does also help increase the probability of me grabbing these sneakers. And it doesn't include botting. It doesn't include multiple accounts. It does include some time and effort though. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Now most people are taking L's on the Nike and sneakers app and they're blaming it on botting. And really that's not necessarily the entire truth. A lot of times it really is just to draw the luck. It is just the number game when it comes to Nikes and sneakers. Now they're making some updates and making it a little bit more fair, but just if you take a look at the last Travis Scott drop on the Travis Scott, there was a million people that wanted to get those. And so a million people went in and put their names in to try to cop those. So most likely the Nikes and sneakers app are your main sources of draws and your possibilities. And that's fine. A lot of people still do that. And it is a viable way, and it's not the only way though. So I'm here to tell you that with these particular steps, I'm going to try to increase your chances of grabbing these next hot sneakers. The first thing I wanna talk about are cook groups. Uh, for those that are not familiar with cook groups, it's either a Discord channel or some sort of uh, group that gets together and discusses the latest sneakers, where to find them, and things like that. I'm part of a cook group that really does help me out. Now, I don't want to put their name up here because I don't know that they want to be affiliated with me, but uh, it does help me out when it comes time to look for the latest sneakers. It, it tells me some of the uh, stores that they're dropping at. It tells me the times and things like that. It just really helps me guide my way to what I want to grab. And it's well worth the money if you are trying to go out and get those without the resale value. Now, if you don't have access to a cook group, it's okay. You don't necessarily need one uh, for these steps to work. It just really helps speed up the process to where to find the information at. Now, the main source of things that are going to really be able to change your luck when grabbing these sneakers are raffles. Most boutique shops will hold raffles on some of the latest sneakers that are coming out, and you could enter your name in. Typically, they want some information, subscribe to their Instagram or some other form, and you will fill in a form, and yeah, it's a raffle ticket. And so there is a lot of raffles out there that you could join. So definitely take a look at some of the boutique shops around you, do a little research, and that will really boost your chances of doing that. Now there are some pros and cons to that because there are some sites that will want a prepayment. So just make sure you're cautious about that. You don't want to put your money in without knowing that you'll get that return back. So just be cautious on that part, uh, but for everything else on it, it is the best way to go. I know trying to find a boutique shop seems daunting, and it can be, but there are sites that you can go to, such as Reddit, 
that will help you at least find some of those boutique shops and some of those answers and easy way to join those raffles. I will see if I could go ahead and link one for you. I don't sponsor this site, but I do think that it is a good source of information if you don't have access to the cook groups. So this really is the best way to find the information. You will get a little bit of upfront legwork that you have to do. But once you have that done, it is, makes it so easy. You get the emails from the boutique shops on their latest draws. And the next one you're going to be ready to go for. But what I would recommend so you don't get overwhelmed and spam is go ahead and make a subfolder in your personal email and have all those filtered to it. Or simply make another email address and use that as your sneaker buying. It's kind of what I do just so my personal and my uh, sneaker buying emails are different. And another really good source of the drawings are, I'll give you two sites that I use here in Europe, which is SNS, which is sneakers and stuff, and the SVD. And these are ones that really give you a lot of information up front. It's a mobile app that you could enter and draw on. And the best part about it, it is not a pre-authorization, meaning that you only pay and your money is only held up if you win that item. I seem to be having a lot of luck on the SNS app, and that's where typically most of my draws come from. So maybe give that a shot as well. Uh, I do know that it is available in the Americas as well as Europe. So let me know if you guys use it and let me know what your win percentage is on it. Something to be said for friends and family. I don't always recommend utilizing them because you don't want to be a burden when it comes to sneaker hunting, but friends and family can enter in your draws as well. I don't know, this is a little bit more controversial side of it because people then will say, well, you're just doing it with multiple accounts. If it is a legitimate person and legitimately there to try to help you win this sneaker, I don't really see anything wrong with it. But if you're creating multiple accounts under false pretenses, that is a little bit more controversial. But your mom, your brother, your sister, yeah, they could enter in those for you. So I use that for the Nike and sneakers app. Has it helped me that much? Not really. But you know, do, do with that information as you please. And finally, go to your local sneaker shops. Have a conversation with them. Befriend them. They will always try to keep their customers informed. And if you go above and beyond, they will try to do their best to give you the information first. I'm not saying bribe them or anything like that. But what I am saying is typically favor based economy is always there. If you guys got a, some information from this video, please hit the like button for me as it lets me know that you got that information and it's helping. And maybe I can produce more of these type of videos that really give you guides on how to cop these sneakers. And I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, happy sneaker hunting.